Hi Capricorn! Welcome to my channel, Binal Moon Child Tarot. I'm Becky and I'm here to do your general love reading for the second half of November 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorns. My apologies for being a little late. Um, I was planning on doing this Friday after work, but uh, had some uh, downtime with some friends, so I kind of took that opportunity. So here we go. <clears throat> First card out, Eight of Wands, followed by Temperance, and then we have the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Wands. Very interesting. Lots of fire energy for you, Capricorn. So under the Eight of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands. Under Temperance, we have Eight of Cups. Under the Queen of Wands, we have Four of Swords. <coughs> and under the Seven of Wands, we have Two of Cups. Yay! On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of your reading is King of Pentacles. Yes, Capricorn, yes. That is stability, security. You're holding yourself down. <coughs> You are abundant, you are very nurturing and giving in that practical sense. Like you like to give gifts out. All right, so let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. You could be dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see Sagittarius specifically, and that's what I'm seeing so far. We shall see more with the clarifying cards. Eight of Wands, Temperance, Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands. So we go for, uh, it's very interesting. We go uh, in the whole spread, Seven, Eight, and Nine of Wands. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with the flow with this and just read everything that I see, okay? Which I usually do anyways. Um, so Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands. Lots of wands. So somebody was blocking things out. There could have been a uh, blocking uh, communication. There could have been like you standing up for something that you feel is right. This is like you setting your boundaries, right, with the seven of wands. And then we have eight of wands, which is for movement and communication. This could be also a spiritual awakening. <coughs> Um, and then we move to the Nine of Wands, which is that wounded warrior. You've been through it and like you are, you still have that fight in you, that last bit of fight in you. And it's like, if there was somebody that's putting up walls, yeah, this was either you or the person that you're dealing with. So there were walls, like blocking and defending. And then we have walls being built with that that nine of uh, wands energy, all right. But I feel like um, with temperance being the big major arcana and the only major arcana out here, it's like you are finding balance within yourself. You're finding balance with your emotions. You're finding balance with your being grounded, being stable, being secure, uh, feeling emotionally. Um, in alignment is not too deep your emotions but you do have them <laughs> it is just like tempering that balance okay um because there was a situation that you felt like you needed to emotionally leave these options were not good for you like they weren't in alignment with you so you walked away from something to find balance to find <clears throat> peace within yourself to transmutate and to like uh Try to mutate energy, like turning a negative into a positive. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the temperance card could also be a reuniting with somebody, a reunion. All right. So Queen of Wands is that seductress. She knows what she wants. She's going to go for it. Um, very gorgeous, very confident, very brave, bold, and courageous. Um, but there's something like needing to take rest, <clears throat> to lay something to rest, to wait, is what I'm getting. Um, 
And we go from Two of Cups, which is, you know, the person definitely feels the same way you do. So we go from two to eight. So that means there was a Six of Cups moment here. Somebody returned to you. <clears throat> and they walked away. <laughs> Interesting. Or you did this to somebody. Okay, so let me go in order here. Um... Eight of Wands, four movement communication in regards to somebody that has been feeling defensive and just very guarded, protective of their heart. But this person is going to go through it. It's going to see this through because nine is the number of completion. Um, it's like the last one is just accepting it. <clears throat> um, temperance and, and Eight of Cups. Somebody left to go find balance. Somebody left to find inner peace within themselves. To transmutate and to balance out passion and feelings. Alright. But then we have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. Somebody is like more confident, more brave, bold, and courageous. They are uh, very generous. They, um... It's like being independent, being confident, being free. Okay, um, and they're laying, <clears throat> they've, they're healing is what I'm getting to. So this person is healing, either you or your partner. Um, this person is he healing, they're waiting, they're surrendering, and they're just like, um, kind of resting too, especially during this, uh, Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. And this could be like the Queen of Wands and the, the Four of Swords could be, you know that resting period during this time uh but definitely still very passionate and very confident forward movement forward looking future look futuristically looking you know looks at the bigger pictures um seven of wands and the two of cups somebody is definitely standing up or defending the person that they love they're very guarded. Or this could be that you two decide not to allow anybody else into your lives and just want each other. Yes, darlings. Yes. So the king of pentacles being the overall energy, it's like <clears throat> you um, are very giving in that. Um, it's kind of like that parent energy in a sense. Like, I'm going to make sure you're well fed, you got clothes on your back, you got a roof over your head. This is that type of energy, like, it's gift-giving energy. This person, or you, because, you know, you're that earth sign. Um, it's like, um, you're very grounded, and the way that you show up, and the way that you show your affection towards somebody is by giving and it could just be even just cooking a meal for them it's it's as simple as that and it's tangible like that okay so it's going to appease to the five senses whatever you give to this person it's going to be very physical okay so let's go into some clarifying cards <clears throat> so clarifying the eight of wands and the nine of wands we have <laughs> Two of Cups. So basically, four movement communication and somebody being guarded. Um, somebody still sticking it out pretty much is how I'm feeling. It's like, you know, I've been through the battle with you and I'm still here and I'm ready for more. Uh, but definitely like a level of completion with the battles um, because there is love. All right. So... Um, clarifying the temperance and the, the eight of cups, we have the seven of wands. So again, another seven here and it's, uh, just defending and protecting yourself. Like if there are people that are opposing you or even yourself opposing, you know, at, at a moment in time where you just, up, uh, I feel like this is kind of internal too. It's like. You know, you blocked out people and, you know, you finding balance within yourself, finding balance and finding love within yourself, being more grounded, being more secure, um, being more confident and independent. And you just walk away from these things that no longer satisfy you or serve you. 
and you're walking towards your wish fulfillment, okay? <clears throat> That's ironic. So, uh, Queen of Wands and Four of Swords is being clarified none other than, again, Eight of Cups. So, Sevens and Eights are very big numbers, uh, signs and synchronicities that you possibly could be seeing. Um, because, again, we have two Sevens here and then we have two Eights. Uh, so walking, like knowing what you want emotionally or just physically walking away from something that doesn't emotionally satisfy you. And again, I say, <clears throat> all right, you notice that in this card that this guy is walking away from these cups that like are no longer filling. And what he's walking away towards is his ninth cup, which is wish fulfillment, and his wish fulfillment is this person, all right, and then notice the moon in the back, all right, and let me find the other, boom, boom, skis, so the other eight of cups is depicting the same thing, except you don't see another, you know, like in this card, you see this guy going towards the woman that he wants. This card, you just see him leaving the cups. And then, of course, the moon again. So it's like following your intuition. You know what you want and you know what you deserve. Um... And you know what you kind of want to do and where you want to go with your feelings. Like, um, and then with the Four of Swords, it's like meditation, rest, relaxation. Like, you need to, to, um, lay something to rest as well. Okay, and that laying something to rest could be just like, you're not being satisfied emotionally with something. So you're laying that to rest and you're moving towards something that is more in alignment with you that is very passionate Okay, and so then clarifying the seven of wands and the two of cups is the double. That is your card, Capricorn. Sit your butt down. This is meant for you. <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't feel like it's um, like anything negative now. Uh, for like, um, Well, because, you know, we have the Two of Cups, and then we have Temperance, and then we have the Devil. So, like, lots of twos, too, okay? So, Two of Cups, this is this person in news, like, you taking the Two of Cups, balancing out passions and emotions. And this is that Two of Cups from this Two of Cups, right? And then we have two people here tied and bound to each other. So, this could be, like, somebody that you feel like you have this soul contract with um and that's why you're being you're being very guarded or you're pr protecting this person um <clears throat> now for some there could be somebody that you're protecting that you're standing up for that has an addiction addiction to either sex uh drugs or alcohol and this is your soulmate um and you're just like, you know, this nine of wands could be just like you're defending, like you've been through it with this person, the, this, uh, you know, this uh, person's addiction or your own addiction. You've been through it. You've been through the worst. And it's like you still very much love this person because you got two two of cups here. Um, but how I'm feeling this, especially with the two two of cups, two eight of cups, and then two seven of wands, it's like you decided that this person is the person that you want. You've basically took yourself off the market. So you're like, what you're guarding is your love for this person. And then like the two eight of cups, it's like, again, you emotionally walking away from other options, going towards that one cup that you know you uh is fulfilling for you okay um let's see what else i see that's about it so let's look at the bottom of the deck and the bottom of the deck and the overall energy for the clarifying cards is the king of cups and so like king of cups and king of pentacles at the bottom of the decks all right <clears throat> so, King of Cups is very uh, emotionally mature, 
very giving in the emotional sense, very much in love. Okay, so again, I'm going to refer back to this temperance card. So we have, the, like, this is the king of cups and this is the king of pentacles, all right? So one toe is in the water, not too deep, and the other one is firmly planted on the ground. So being balanced with the emotion and the, the groundedness, um, not being too e uh, emotionally in depth and not being too uh, grounded and... and, and um, practical basically balancing the two all right this could also represent like we have we're in scorpio season still and then we're uh you know then we go into balancing so meshing the old with the new not being too emotionally deep and not being only so solidly like grounded just like stuck on groundedness okay <clears throat> Uh, so other signs that I see so far is again another Capricorn and a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio all right so let's go into the angel romance cards so the first card out we have for you Capricorn is heart to heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other right so this this person is definitely the one you are in love with because there's two of cups here twice so two two of cups um so this person does feel the way that you feel and um i feel like once you have that heart to heart communication with each other the two can definitely be on the same page like this person is very caring about your emotions like they really love you and they will nurture your like they want to help it's like they want to help you but it's like they understand that you know you have to go through this for yourself as far as balancing your own emotions out um or this could be like vice versa or vice versa <laughs> um but definitely having that heart to heart communication uh, and figuring out, you know, um, how to move forward. So the next card we have is chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So again, with the two two of cups and the two eight of cups, it says if somebody left only to come back, because that's six of cups, to realize that they do love you. Or are you doing this to somebody? Okay, and the last card says healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So what does that mean by that? Like, it could be that there could be family issues. Um, if you are married and in a soul contract with somebody, um... This could just be healing those issues with this person. But how I'm also getting it too is that, you know, parents are kind of our example of what love looks like when we are young, right? So if you had parents that were very loving uh, towards each other, then your perception of love is of that. Then if uh, versus a parent that like it didn't show a lot of love that was stuck in a situation they hated to be in then it's like forgiving your parents uh and also forgiving yourself for for thinking you know just limiting your thinking okay um bottom of the deck and the overall energy codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so with that devil card again it could be just like you have uh, like either you or the person that you're dealing with has codependencies and the codependency could either again become uh be from like an addiction now that addiction can also include self-sabotaging like fears having fears uh being insecure stuff like that anything lower level energy they could have an addiction towards um so having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation will definitely help 
because there is like this really strong connection between you and this person all right and you want to work it out because like you you know two two of cups it's like you really do love this person temperance and the queen of wands you wanting to move forward with this person because this person gives you passion and so the first card in the angel answers says yes having that heart to heart conversation yes this person is your soulmate two times two the eight all right so the next card says big happy changes yes darling yes all right so like when you have that conversation um there's definitely going to be big happy changes like somebody is going to if somebody is addicted to like codependencies this is like you know something changes within them like they come to a realization all right and then the last card says no so no on the like no this perception of love um that you previously had <clears throat> is is not the right perception no um to codependencies no to being like feeling trapped and stuck in a situation you can no longer you know you no longer want to be in um see and, and you can be putting up that no that boundary because seven of wands is about setting boundaries so you could be like no I'm not going to allow this in, in my field and I'm walking away if you don't you know if you don't like better yourself in that sense this is what I'm picking up on and then it says on the bottom of the deck, remain positive. Remain positive that things are going to work out for you again. You know, Saturn is back in your placement, Capricorn. And then, of course, we have Jupiter, the sky god, um, back home in Sagittarius. So things are definitely, like, karma is definitely, like, playing um, once you've healed and deal, dealt with whatever you're dealing with, of course, Jupiter's energy of like, okay, cool, you've learned your lesson, here's some blessings. <clears throat> All right, so that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Um, if this message resonated, uh, just hit that thumbs up, and if it didn't, check back towards the end of the month to see if it resonates then, and if it still doesn't resonate, check down in the description box below. I have some sales going on. Pretty much all my readings are under $20, and this is good until December 15th. December 15th is my birthday, so I want to pass on the blessings that I have received from, you know, being, uh, on here on YouTube, and for you guys also supporting my channel by you know subscribing and commenting and sharing and liking so I want to pass on the thanks uh, the appreciation and the gratitude towards you guys and help you guys uh, uh, with some guidance and for an affordable price especially for this holiday season so check that out it ends December 15th and I will see you guys in the first half of December namaste and mwah, sending my love and light to you.